This is madness. No, this is Pima Limbs. And I'm still around the wheel, and we are on Maniac Mansion, which is probably not resemble the actual Maniac Mansion in any way. There was, wasn't there also a day of the tentacle level in this? It's been so long ago. This series has taken so long to, like, get through, and, like, it's been so drawn out and full of suspense and drama and acting that I just, I just don't know anymore. I'm pretty sure the day of the tentacle level was here in, uh, Pima Limbs, though. Like, somewhere back in one of the earlier ratings that we played, like, back in 1998 or something. 40 lemmings, 95% to be saved. That's... That's a rough number. That's probably something like two lemmings that I can kill. And we've got one, two, three injury hatches. Ah, ah, ah. Five minutes. And a release rate so arbitrary that I can't help but think it's set to that for a reason and a purpose. Let's see. What have we got? We've got, well, we don't have much in the way of tasks to deal with. So where does everybody go? Where do they go here? So they walk... They walk boom 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 do 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 and they die and they die okay okay so we might be building like right here or something to hem them in that little crack right there a little crack of lacquer and then one boom ba do ba do ba do ba do ba do and then they go here and they get themselves into a similar spot of trouble uh we do have a blocker that's nice at least and then they they go through a series of even tighter cracks to eventually they make their way here. Boy, they are in the biggest pickle dilly of a pickle of all. Actually, they are in the easiest spot, probably, because who do we focus on first here? Let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Okay, these are the guys I'm going to focus on first, because the other guys still have a bit of a way to walk. These are the ones who have to be sealed up first. All right, now we can focus on other people, probably. So let's see what we've got. Let's see what we've got in the pipeline. They have, they've got quite a ways to walk still also. So let's, yeah, 78 release rate between three doors. That's not so bad or terrible. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can't do some, let's see if we can't do some major caulking here. The caulking of the spheres. Let's see if we can't manage it. Okay, they're safe too. But they have a bit of a harder road because they also, well, we can just dig straight down to get them out. Now, as for them, as for them, they may be the one blocker that we use, I think. We may be able to patch this up somehow. How many bashers we got? Four? I think we can manage this. I don't think there's anything terribly, which way is this going? This is going, okay, yeah. This is going to the left, though. That's... That's a bit of a spot of bother. Huh. So, why don't we... Where am I going to set my blocker down? Why don't we have a guy... Why don't we have a guy bash through here? Why don't we have another guy? Huh. Um, and then why don't we have him... Why don't we have him dig? This is going to get a little bit creative here. I'm going to get a little bit creative with my patching solution here. Okay, so now... Okay, yeah. It's kind of working out. Uh, I'm going to set my blocker at the end over here. Because I'm going to have a guy bash, like, right here. Um, and then I should be able to mine out at the end, I think. I should be able to mine out... Okay, let's see. I think everything is still set... Pretty reasonably well. Uh, I'm going to pay attention to this guy first, though. Oh, no, 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 no. You need to build. You need to build, sir. I cannot have any more people dying because I'm going to kill two people. And to accomplish that, I'm going to go from here. Five, four. You're going to dig. And you're going to bomb. Okay, now everybody should be able to reach the exit fairly well. Uh, now, we just need to s now we just need to make sure everybody's safe. Okay, yeah, he'll be fi he'll be fine. All right, there we go. They can walk perfectly over that. Actually, that's gonna go that's gonna go tremendously well. In fact, okay, now now I just need to make sure nobody plummets off the edge here. All right, so now everybody is safe as far as that goes. So now we can start building up to here. 
patching this up. Wow, this is a pretty intuitive level, actually, honestly. So I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, you can, you can make things go perfectly because he's going to turn around. Now we can start worrying about getting everyone else out. Okay, so now, now how is that going to work? That's going to get everybody else out. We can mine here, and we can uh, dig through this. There we go. There we go. That was a shockingly easy level, uh, unless there is something I'm missing. Uh, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, and that was a perfect build. Wow, I am, wow, I'm pretty pleased as punch. Wow, that's amazing. That, wow, that was a fun level that and it was easy to understand too so let's go ahead and uh okay you guys get in there before that becomes a splat height i don't really think that's going to happen but wow that was really easy to just kind of feel out i'm yeah i can see why this was an extra level there's a lot of stuff that you end up not ha presumptuous on my part oh well that's that's definitely something <laughs> okay so now how are we gonna oh wow and boy and i thought i had this in the can what a what 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 a day well that's 70 percent i mean if the object was to save 70 percent then by golly <laughs> i'd be a winner Oh, dear Jesus. How did I... How did I do that? How did I make that big an oversight? Huh. Well, back to the drawing board, one supposes. Okay, I think they may be in the tightest spot of all, so I'm actually going to use the blocker for them. I'm going to use the blocker for them them and then I am going to retailer my strategy okay so now they're not going down there we need them to not go down there because it's just gonna get dirty down there so now now I think we need to do things in more or less the same order we were doing them in uh, let's see what's the, the only thing that worries me about a potential solution is the number of builders I have that is what scares the living daylights out of me but, I also have a miner. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get them over. I'm going to get these guys over here. I think I have enough space to work with there. These guys, they're fine. I don't need to worry about them anymore. And I didn't mean for him to do that. I need him to bash. Let me see about room over here, though. Okay, yeah, no, I need to work. Oh, yeah, I need to get a lot tighter. All right, you're going to build here. I think one guy... Okay, no, so... I need him also to build here. I want this space plugged up. Uh, but I think I need to make him... I think I need to make him bash first. So now we've got what coming? We've got... Okay, yeah, now that's good. Okay, yeah, now everybody is going... Okay, basically... Okay, I have a good replay point to start from now. Everybody is getting nice and sealed up, and that actually was not what I wanted to happen either. So, oh boy, yeah, because now he's going to walk out while he mines down to help save them. But I can kill, I think, two lemmings, as I said. But that may end up not doing what I want. So, yeah, I still need to get this going. I think... There are mostly a bunch of other people I can leave alone for now. Okay, yeah. I can I can still seal up a good chunk of the population here. I want to start mining to save them. I think I'm going to use my miner there. Because I'm going to build out of here using about three bridges, I think. I think I let too many guys escape there, though. This level is clearly a nightmare of multitasking. So, we're going to go ahead... Yeah, this is not going to end well for Mr. Walk Walkin' Dude. The Walkin' Dude walks out, and yeah, I just barely messed that up. But I still like my digging and bombing solution. But parceling out tasks may get difficult in the moments to come. 
I want a guy to climb over this wall and make a little tent pole like ramp to save him. But I am very rapidly running out of builders. Stretching out my builders is going to be my biggest problem. Okay, everything is secure that needs to be secure. So I'm going to have him build. Keep the other guys hemmed in. Okay, yeah, so now he's far enough back. I think I can mostly concentrate on... Okay, yeah, where where are we at? Where are we at? Everybody is doing uh, pretty okay. Uh, I think maybe now I want to get the climber going. I know I'm risking things by multitasking pretty heavily here, but I just want to make sure I have the time and the inclination here. So while he is building i'm gonna have this guy mine down it's got to be pretty much exact i gotta get the right angle here so now because they need to be able to just walk up the hill once they start i think i went from too far up maybe if you take the hypotenuse and multiply it by the base of the triangle you get a guy who's really bad at math so let's go ahead and we can't forget about this team over here okay we want him we want him to dig yeah I really like the digging and bombing thing that really that really got me fired up did I have him build again yes I did but maybe that's what I wanted to do huh you don't know actually you do pretty much know you got it pretty solid and I don't think they're gonna walk over that somebody died oh a little walker man died oh so Okay, he's going now, and he's going to... Uh, I think he's fine as long as he gets everybody else into shape now. Uh, if he can get everybody pouring out here... Where, where am I in the big scheme of things? I need to set my bomber now. I don't think this is going to work because I set my miner too far. Yeah... But I think I have the resources to build out now, should that be necessary. I should have had another guy build here. I think I may actually have the extras, because I'm going to be... I am going to be digging them out, after all. Okay, so now... Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, baby. Okay, so... And he'll also... Okay, yeah. He'll need to build... He'll need to build here... Okay, yeah. And I think I can have them bash now. I think I can have them bash out of this. Yeah, I think I've almost got this together. It just comes down to angles, basically. And I don't want anybody spilling out... Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. I don't want anybody spilling out the, uh... To the left here. Okay, yeah. They all walked out. And that was convenient for them. Okay, yeah, and that worked for them, too. So this actually could end up pretty majorly working, I think, for the most part. I just didn't get the right angle over here. And, yeah, now I just dig. They're bashing to safety. And now, but that's a problem now because, um, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, this needs to be pretty dead on. He needs to kind of build farther over, I think. Because now they're going to spill out. Yeah, they're going to go off the steel now. Ooh, yeah. That needs to be that needs to be a little prettier. In general, this just needs to be a little prettier. But I think I've almost got it. Okay, this time I'm going to come from this brick line. And now I'm going to get things going as I had them before. Now I want to focus, like, right here. Hmm. I think I want to go ahead and get somebody bashing. I think I want to get these guys out as fast as I can. This is really tricky, though. I think I want to... Okay, what if I... Where... Okay, I want to definitely... Okay, so now we've got... Let's have the bash brigade come in. And now, I think I want to... Oh, everybody's out by now. Well, it doesn't matter then. Okay, I think everybody basically just got out. So, they just got out of the joint, so they're not really accustomed to life on the outside. You'll have to you'll have to deal with them, you know. And so, okay, he's going to finish building, I think. How is our miner doing? Okay, I think he's doing just fine. 
Okay, and now, now, now I think I can focus on this. Now I need to wait for my climber to get back, but now I can pretty much exclusively focus over here. I can go ahead and uh, bomb now, and then I've got to have him build. Oh, 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 okay. All right, that was really scary. All right, now he's coming back. These guys are coming. I have three builders left. That is worrisome, because I need to get these guys back over here somehow. Maybe I just bashed from the wrong spot. Maybe I should have just come from, like, right here, and they could have walked up over that. Maybe I messed it up from the beginning. I think I think maybe that is the case now. And now you're going to die anyway. Yeah, so, yeah, everything, so everything is just, I've just muddied up the water even more. But I want to see how this works real quick before I discontinue. Uh, let's see. Let's let's go ahead and get the bashing going. Yeah, I didn't even bother building them out. I've got plenty of time, though, with them. I've got plenty of time over on this side. As long as they're blocked, all I have to worry about is building them out of their habitat. So, yeah, I think I need to wait on this and let them bash from about here. Or maybe mine from... No, bash from here... I still definitely need to plug it up with somebody. Uh, and I'll have bashers, and I'll have, I'll have, I'll have to do something. But I'll be, I'll be begored if I know what. But I want to check this out. I want to make sure everybody gets out safely from here. So, or if he just messed that up entirely too. This is a really hard level. I mean, it's, it's kind of. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I messed it up pretty badly the first time. Yeah, and then eventually you get this going. Yeah, that's that's another big problem. I need him to dig at the end of the pole here. That is something I'm having trouble with on the timing there. Okay, I did a bit of a height test here earlier. And if I am very judicious, I can reach this with two bridges. That's good, but I don't really know what it means, honestly, in the long haul. Actually, I do know what it means. It means that if I am... Uh, it means that I can dig basically wherever I want on this pole. And, uh, okay, yeah, everybody is safe down here. I did a little bit better with my spacing this time. This is the second walker. He's digging. I just got to remember about this guy. This guy is quite quite the, uh, quite the feisty little straggler. So, okay, we're going to have the walker go, or the climber go up. Okay, everybody can walk up over that. That's cute. That's good. It's not, okay, okay, it's not terrible. Okay. All right, so now, where are you at? I think you're the next one I want to focus on. I need to have you build. I need to have you build in such a way. You need to hit, like, inside here. That was freaking terrible. Holy mother, that was terrible. Wow, that was a terrible build. But, uh... Oh, wait, no, I do have to... I do still have to get this basically exactly right. Never mind. Okay, yeah, let's see how they do on that walk, though. One more time, just to confirm any suspicions I may have had. Yeah, everybody starts going over the hump, and then those guys make it just fine, but then you have you have these guys fall through, like three guys fall through. Not acceptable, though. We need to do a little better than that. Ah, uh, that's still not great. Uh, but I need to get in at a very good angle, like right here, so that he... That was also a horrible angle. I'm trying to get him to touch this instead of this. Yeah, he keeps hitting and bumping, and that's bad. That's not what I want at all. Yeah, lemmings just tend to cruise down that hill, so I need to be really extra careful. And this guy is digging a little farther over this time, uh, but that's still kind of a bad hole. Oh, yeah, God, that's... Ooh, that is tough to deal with right there. I don't know how to deal with that, quite honestly. Uh... Okay, and everybody... Oh, we still got a little minor hole there. Yeah. Uh, I think I'm overcomplicating this just a tad. I'm going to try something. Let's see. And I will... I'll get back to you with the results after I do it. But I may not have to make so crazy a mining angle uh, in the end. Let's see. Let's, let's let this guy go past... And then I want, well, I need to get some other things happening. Oh, yeah, yeah, I already missed out on this, so I need to get these guys going first. Okay, covered, covered. That's what I needed to do, and this is also covered. 
So now we're going to concentrate over here for a second. I'm going to go ahead and do something. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just cover this now, as is. And I'm going to... I'm going to have him bash right here. He's got a little more room, so that may be the subtlest of hints. And I think he's going to bash along this brick line. And I'm going to come back if the results are any better. Because I should be able to just mine to here. And I can probably actually also start those guys building. If I start in the right place, they should just barely touch. So now, okay, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, have this go on. He's the only one that needs to go on from here. Okay, so we've got, we've got a building situation happening over here. And everybody should be safe if all goes as planned. But now I can start in on this. Now I'm just going to do everything the way I was more or less usually doing it, with the possible exception of this. This may need to change somehow. Um, yeah, I'll be back if I happen to get it right following this line of thought. Okay, as it turns out, that did produce fruitful results. and But we're going to do this from replay mode since I'm running up the clock here. Since I pretty much got this. Here we're going to seal this with three... It takes three bridges to do this. I'm not going to do the dig and bomb thing. That wastes... That wastes resources, basically. Instead, in order to save on bashers, what I went ahead was I digged. Dug. I dig dug. And then we just bash here. He's going to end up hitting steel at the end. So he should be okay from that front. Now we have a climber bomber going. You put him in just the right spot, he makes a teensy tiny hole that the others can fit through. Uh, well, my camera's going all over the place since this is a replay. I can't really focus on what I want to now. But we've got our guy going along here. We've got our other guys safe. And the climber bombed in just the right place that he's able to basically release everybody. This is a little bit of a panic mode patch right here since I've got people coming. But I used a miner because that is the fastest way to dig people through stairs. And it turned out okay in the end for the best because of this really thin brick line. Once he bashes through here, everybody just kind of walks up through the little mortar filling. Like so. And we've got quite a nice little, uh, most of them are back to the back here, so that's really good. He can go all the way to the end of the steel. I don't have to worry about him, but I can clear up some room to bash through this little triangle here by having this little guy build. And of course, I have the time and the resources and everything. It doesn't really matter. He gets through the steel just fine. Don't know why I'm checking on him. But if I build, that turns him around, and he's got plenty of room to work now. The basher has plenty of room to work. Also, I don't know if you can really see it, but I dug them out of here. That's all I had to do to get them to this hole. They go bump de bump de bump de bump and then they go... Yeah. Yeah, that pretty much nails it, though. It's, it's hard to talk with the replay doing things that I don't want it to. I wish I had a little more control over the camera in replay mode. But, fact is, I don't. So now I can just basically let everybody walk, and I can control the camera now. They walked up through this, and then I can have them... This took a lot of... That, that took really good timing right there. I'm really glad that didn't take too long to nail. And then, yeah, over here, all I had to do was dig them out. That's I didn't even have to bash or anything like that. And I've got plenty of resources and tools left over and all they went was they went bump bump up here bump and then they came down here they came to the hole and they walked straight to the exit so it's it's a sort of sadistic level i suppose it's probably not as hard as i made it out to be in the end but but you have plenty of time to do everything even this big guy straggler up here he is a uh, he, he's, he's got plenty of time to make it to the exit. You have plenty of time to just kind of stretch out in this level. Five minutes is uh, pretty generous considering all the cracks and nooks and crannies you've got to move people through. But this is, as far as mansions go, damn, this is the most industrial looking mansion I've ever seen. This place is a shithole. This place is a money pit. Clean up! Jeez. Yikes. I'm just making very terrible jokes now, so you can tell that I don't have much left to say. And you can tell that I'm basically saying our feet are sane for today. Once little man makes it to the exit, we're going to go ahead. We're going to bomb our blocker. And yeah, that was that was quite the level. Maybe not quite the uh, embarrassment I made it out to be or the nightmare or whatever. I'm the embarrassment here. 
I'm the one who spent a full seven minutes completely ignoring this entry hatch. But that is going to do it for us today. And next time we will move on to level 17. Getting through those extra levels. Getting through, plugging forward, moving on. And that's really all you can ask for from a guy. Right? Because if you have to ask for anything more than that, <laughs> you're, you're SOL. I don't know what to tell you.